what's up everybody so today my buddy and i uh it's supposed to rain today and my buddy and we caught each other and we're like yo let's go fishing because look at this that right there people i don't know if y'all can see that but that's an empty boat ramp parking lot there's nobody out here today so we're gonna take out our boat take out the dolphin dancer and we're gonna see if we can catch us some redfish before uh it's supposed to storm today but who knows weatherman might be wrong so we're gonna see if we can get out there and catch some redfish before it's gonna it's supposed to thunderstorm but the weatherman might be wrong so we shall see we shall see but sometimes these are the best days when uh it's supposed to storm and it's, it just stays cloudy sun's actually out a little bit got a little sunlight so anyways y'all that is the program today redfish Redfish, redfish. You got them keys, son? Yeah, I'm gonna give them to you, so. Oh, yeah. It's all my responsibility now. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Dang, dude. Beautiful. No boats, only birds. All right, y'all. So today's actually looking really nice so far. I uh, don't want to speak too soon or jinx us, but there are no storm clouds off in the distance right now. We got some sun and what we're doing right now is we are looking for the warmest water possible. It's early spring, um, tail end of winter, early spring. So these redfish, they're going to be kind of real finicky. Um, we do have a moving tide. It's like an outgoing tide. So I feel really confident that where we can find the warmer water, even some darker mud, uh, we have a little bit of sunlight out today. Um, and we just have tons of birds around us. Tons of birds, tons of pelicans, tons of cormorants. And that's all we're doing is we're just kind of looking for um, the warmest water possible. And so like a shallow flat, maybe next to like a deep drop off, like a main channel, but about 15 pelicans up here. Y'all, this time of year, right now, what I pay attention to, really all times of the year, that is nature's fish finder. That's a pelican, if y'all can't see it. But when y'all pull into a creek, to a cove, or to any waterway, and it's got like 10 pelicans diving, and then you can also tell the way that a pelican flies when you can kind of look at it and you can see where it's like looking down at the water and kind of circling around one area definitely a good sign this time of year i look for pelicans and cormorants it's like two birds that i really look for and we have been seeing some mullet jumping so kind of kind of getting excited i'm gonna like anchor us like right over here and work just keep bumping working these docks Never caught a red. Literally bigger when they hit that 24, 25. Yeah, they just get fat. There's one. Fish on. All right, people. Found them. Ooh, that's a decent one. First fish of the day. Just found them right off of this flat. Right where he should have been. <laughs> all right, y'all. Yeah, so we just found them right off of this flat. Like, right where all the birds were. And, uh... Ooh, actually, no, he's a little, dude, he's so he's small. beat up. He is beat up. I thought you were much bigger. Come in here. Dang, he's beat up. Easy. That guy is scarred up. That's like bluefish. All right, y'all, there it is. First, this is what we call a rat red. Under slot, small, or a yearling red is the official term rat red is the slang all right buddy grow up and be a bull so it's almost like they're a little deeper yeah dude I say that? I dude dude right there as soon as it hit that's a decent one <laughs> all right people we are on the school this is why springtime fishing is so fun because these fish they just get all schooled up and there could be there could be a hundred reds in this one school right here. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. He ain't a giant. Closer to slot. Dang, look at that tail. 
I love how beautiful these little reds are. Dude, his tail was so blue in the water. Look at that. Dang, very next cast. All right, where's your big brother, great grandma? Throw off four rods and like when you're on them. Dude, I, see that? There he is. Hey, uh, it's hard to tell. I don't think so. Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Dude, yeah, that kind of, that feels like a slot. Third fish and, this is my third fish in three casts, y'all. Dude, that's right at slot. I'm cooking this guy. <laughs> he looks way too good to not. There we go. That is what we came out here for, people. There it is, y'all. Little footballs. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh. All right, y'all. So today is definitely turning out to be an awesome day. Still have like no storm clouds, and these redfish, they're schooled up. So it's like, a little bit deeper kind of out here so what we've been doing is just working the banks of all these like grass lines and then we've been picking them up actually like kind of halfway back to the boat so we started working there's a flat back out in there and we've got this like tide that's moving out and these reds they're just stacked like right out there so springtime is an amazing time to get out here especially early spring when the water starts warming up got all these like pelicans and cormorants and ospreys there's two um pelicans hanging out like right on top of these channel markers so definitely signs of bait the only thing i'm using my fish finder today is just the water temperature really and we're just kind of using the birds to see you know where they're hanging out and there's just so much life back here but that's where these fish are they're a little deeper today and so that's really what i look for in the springtime is like a flat uh, that has some like deeper water right next to it. So we do have this like nice flat up in there And then we've got these channel markers right there. So these fish are just chilling right there and then It's a lower tide right now. So it's like low and outgoing. It's the tail end of outgoing tide Maybe on the so probably on the high tide these fish pull up onto that flat. Dang. There was a blow up right out there right on top Try to cast out here My gut tells me like that general area right out there. Like reset an anchor right in yeah, there. Yeah, you got it. Boat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try right here. Well, hold on. Probably just to like right here, you know what I'm saying? Probably either. Dude, right where that current seam is. <laughs> oh, my word. Dude, how'd you lose that one? That was it. Wow. All right, y'all. So I pretty much just had a giant. <sighs> that hurts. I thought I was stuck on the bottom. There he is. Fish on. <laughs> All right, y'all. Fourth fish of the day. These fish are just loaded out here. Probably right at slot size, just short. Definitely just had on a giant before this guy. Which is just like, he's pinwheeling. <laughs> like a tuna. Here you go. Dang, some beautiful reds. Feel bigger? Y'all, these reds are just thick. That's a, that's slot, dog. Small redfish, but definitely fun. We will take it. Come on. That feels like a decent one. All right, people. We all own a nice one. Really nice one. Power pulled down.
Yeah, it's a slash. Oh, I thought he pulled. I, I felt like change in uh, tension. Oh, he's probably right at it. Get in down. All right. Ooh, easy. Very nice. All right, people. Whoa. Easy. I think I'm only going to eat one. But this is a very nice redfish. All right, people. There it is. Nice little 19-inch football. Dang. This is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Broom tail. But y'all, these fish right now, they're definitely like feeding on stuff that's just like moving. So it's actually more of like a steady retrieve that we're picking up these fish. But dang, that is awesome. Early spring bite, y'all. Like late winter, early spring. These fish are a little bit more uh, active and they're just kind of in some like deeper water. Here you go. Yeah. 